Hello, reviewers, I'm Mr. Who Reviews. And today I'm doing Kim Possible Stop Team Go. Um, and it's one of the Team Go's old villains, Electronique, as he comes to Go City and uses uh, the Attitudinator, which is, uh, was used in the episode that turned Evron uh, bad and dark and good. Uh, it's just to use the on team go, but it turns to go good and see the up in Cameron's uh, high school to be their substitute. Yeah, I first brought them to re believe that is a uh, she go, but Kim doesn't know better. And uh, see what she gets attacked. By her brothers and the camera as he saved her. And turn out that Seagull's uh, teasing degree is legal. Yeah. And, uh. Kansas has said Seagull's staying in her house for a while and her dad's a bit accepting about uh, Seagull's staying. And Seagull does seem like a. like she is generally, generally nice. Person, they don't even use her powers to like seriously hurt her brothers when they're fighting. It's like a warning shots. And at first, Kim felt a bit weird being around a good seagull, but eventually, it's that bond and Kim starts uh, thinking of her as a big sister. And I'm wrong, I can be like a third wheel since I like, came in the seagull just hang hanging out a lot. And, uh, with Electronique and Team Go, she's just trying to keep them in alliance and still get off, uh, what, what they're doing, like, they're already paying attention. And then she do, do uh, cause havoc in Go City. They're even the same with her arrogant that went up and they excited to bring uh, Go City to their knees. Whether it's a simile or a metaphor. And the things that get weirder when Ron and uh, Kim go on a double day with Shigo Mr. Barkin. Yeah, it's a real Barkin had to take him to Shigo a bit. And uh, yeah, I agree, it is weird. Hmm. And, uh, eventually, uh, Kim that go to go tower to face Tingo Electronique. Um, they're just there fighting, and Rufus is like tries to get uh, the attitude air away from uh, Electronique, but accidentally turns on and turns uh, wrong bad again. Yeah, there is, but Rod's are. First heard bad in this episode, they played uh, organ music in the background. If I think it fits a little, but still. And um, Ron actually fights an Electronique for a while. He does point out that he should have uh, turned a uh, Kim evil first. I uh, do he do it, but Electronique does stop, but I do wonder what a uh, evil Kim possible will be like. Uh, I don't know if it'd be weird or, or good or what. And think the Tingo just goes back forward to being good, evil, and so, so like that. Uh, that's the uh, all members of Tingo are from good and they actually take down the Nick while they just hold down side of Go Tower as the uh, sound effects not go off. I don't know why they didn't show it, but. Mm -hmm. And as they're taking the electronic away, uh, Ron accidentally uses the uh, attitude to their god. And she goes without telling Kim something that she says she wasn't able to tell her when it says bye, but once again, the attitude goes off and turns. She goes bad again and gets destroyed, but. Mm -hmm. And Dragon 
get a picture up and that said tells her he'd been working on a project called Operation Gorkin when uh, she was gone. Yeah, it turned out he wasn't able to open the jar of pickles. Yeah, there's a few scenes that go to the laboratory showing that like, he, he tried to open it himself, didn't work. The uh, henchmen weren't able to do it. And tried using some laser or some device, but it didn't work. And when he hit the jar, did she go? She said, open it. I think it was those who said uh, who wear the pants in the late ship, but hmm. um well uh but after these I started doing that to show the some of uh, the sly pictures of her and uh Cam and uh, this burn out for one. And this is around the time they started some the uh, some scene journey and credits. And seems on this Mr. Parker showing up in Dr. Dracula's laboratory and the uh, Dracula wanted to lead the guard dog, but she go on to wait and Dracula does start out at Parker and I see uh, sings the old boys song and she goes easy to dogs after that. Yeah, we're all the same game more like dog, but yeah, I guess it, it was in the cards. Um yeah, this is a good episode. Uh, this is a good thing to show uh, what Seagull would have been like as if she was good. And it seems like she actually remembered everything when she turned back to be evil. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's for me, it seemed like a good uh, a villain. And this seemed a bit uh, bossy. Even call them Tingo hench people. I don't know if it's supposed to be dead German or something else, but. Hmm. And, uh. Yeah, I see him wrong feeling left out. Was a little sad. And. There's, there's a part when uh, she goes saying that her and Barker are going to go ahead and roller skating the next day and to have Kim Mike. Or saying, but some goes and Ron always falls. I get them, get them to have good balance or something, but hmm. And this also shows when Ron's evil, he has a uh, common fighting abilities. I don't know, like he saw him have uh, some decent fighting abilities before, but when he's evil, it just seems more like rare or something. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that's a classic comic book thing with uh, a villain turn a uh, hero to bad guys or turn a bad guy to, to go or whatever, but, hmm. And the third of the twins are called We Go. Yeah, I forgot that. Hmm. Anyway, uh, and, uh, see you guys later.